Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Account Rework series. I'm here today on KD's account to take a look at the Spider Dungeon and Clan Boss and then a few other things if time will allow it. Uh, before I get started, I want to say anybody that is interested in an Account Rework, uh, there's a link in my description to join my Discord. Join the Discord and follow the instructions. It's going to kind of guide you through the process if you want an account rework of how to get to, how to get into the pool and potentially get selected. Uh, there, there is no, it's not a first come first serve thing. I go in and look at the accounts and whichever one I think would be a good one to work on, I'll pick it, set up a time, hop in and do my thing. So uh, if you want one, that's how you do it. Don't ask me in the comments of this video. Uh, don't DM me. The, the best way to do it is to join the Discord and go through the process to get into the pool. That is the only way. I get a lot of DMs. Uh, so I don't have time to answer them all, so it might feel like I'm ignoring you, but uh, that's going to be the way to do it. That's going to be the only way to do it, so I wanted to get that stated. Now let's go ahead and jump into it and take a look at what we have going on here. So we're on Spider 19. We want to clear that by any means necessary and then work on autoing Spider 20. So let's see what kind of stuff we have at our disposal here and see what we can't make happen. Now we have a Tormen. <clears throat> we do have an Ultimate Gallic as well. So we, we know that that's a pretty handy combo for Spider. We've got a Lissandra who can be pretty helpful for that. We've got... What else do we have here? We do have an Apothecary who would be a pretty handy target or, or, or member of that team. And we, we, he's got an Elf Guard built too for that turn meter knockback. We could try something like that. Kind of go the Stew Gaming route. <clears throat> We've got some options. We also have three Cold Hearts. A royal guard. Now, unfortunately, it looks like our only defense down and weaken is coming from Rosin. And that is not going to be reliable for us in Spider 20. That is going to make, a, make for a difficult auto. So we may not be able to go the nuke route. We may not be able to go the, the route with all the cold hearts and, and all that. We may have to try the, the, the Gallic and Tormen method. So why don't we take a look real quick at everybody. We have a Tormen who is decently built, good accuracy, decent speed. We have a Lissandra who is probably going to need some work. <clears throat> Actually, almost certainly going to need some work. for what we want to use her for here. Do we have a banner that has any speed? We, we, we gotta bump, we, we gotta get her at least to 200 speed here. We've got Apothecary who is in pretty good shape. We've got, we've got Gallic who, that's pretty solid accuracy. I would say that's decent enough. And then we've kind of got, I guess we could, Tormen, Gallic, Apothecary, Lissandra. <clears throat> we may gear up that Interceptor and throw her in. She hits randomly, right? So she, yeah, she hits randomly, so she's not going to be reliable for us. We could try... Hmm. Gorg might be some decent insurance. Gorg might be some decent insurance. Why don't we why don't we why don't we try that? Just to get a look. I just kinda wanna see how everybody looks, and then we'll go in and make our adjustments. I'm I'm not necessarily expecting this to work. I just wanna see how we're looking from the from the start and go from there. Now what we could go ahead and do too is, is just nuke our way through 19. I, I think... I think we could probably do that. I need to check out his Cold Hearts and Royal Guard. <clears throat> Good enough speed. Pretty decent damage there. I think she's fast enough. We gotta get the crit rate up. Just a little bit. She only needs 70. That's pretty close. Pretty close. If we could hit a crit rate roll there, she'd be she'd be fine, I think. And a little bit on the slow side. 
Not sure if she would get a turn. But we could try it. And then Rosin. Definitely fast enough. And fastest. So that, that that's worth a shot. Let me roll this shield up real quick and see if we can get a crit rate roll. We're going to go try it regardless. But we'll see if we can't get the crit rate roll. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got a crit damage roll instead. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll, we're going to give it a shot. I, before I do give it a shot, I do want to take a look at her. And see if we can't find a little bit more crit rate. Because we really need her to crit. Although, we're not trying to build her for an auto team, so if we have to take a couple of shots at this, that's not the end of the world. We're going to go ahead and buy him that Ancient Shard. Alright, you know what, let's, let's just give it a shot. If we have to give it a couple of rolls, we will. We're going to see what we think the likelihood of us getting through this, kind of cheesing our way through this, is going to be. So, we'll go Rosin, we'll go Royal Guard, we will... No, no, not doing that. Cold heart, cold heart, and and then cold heart. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can't cheese our way through this real quick. If we get close, we'll try again. If not, we'll we'll know better. Now she might be slower than them, so she may not get a turn, and they're probably gonna. It's hard to say. We'll see. Okay, we got that. Now we can go... He's weak. Dead gummit. Not good. So we're going to have to get lucky on a Royal Guard crit. They're targeting him first, which may give... Cold Heart a turn. Ooh, no. Okay, Cold Heart's going to have to be faster. So we're going to need a little bit of luck here. <clears throat> but if Royal Guard crits, I think I think we can do this. I think we can cheese through this real quick. So let's go see if we can um, find a little bit more speed on her. She's the one that needs a little more speed. Maybe we can get a little more damage as well. I don't guess there's a crit damage amulet here. No. All right, a little more speed. What can we do? She doesn't need the attack. We can... We can lose the attack. Are there any six-star speed boots? But the, the problem is that there's crit rate in all of these. Now, we can lose f five crit rate, which none of these things are going to have five crit rate on them. <laughs> I don't think. I guess it's possible. Okay, I'm gonna have to hunt through the gear. I think he, this might be our, sh our shot. It's finding some crit damage gloves. There they are. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll these up to 16 and see how they roll. If we can get <clears throat> any speed rolls, we'll be in business. We don't really need anything else. And the attack's not important, so I'm going to roll this to 16. I'll be back in a second. Okay, of course, we avoided every speed roll possible here. We're going to equip it anyway because it is a little bit of speed, and we only need a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to see. The problem is... I mean, we really only needed a few speed points. That that might do it. I, I don't remember the speed, and I don't I don't know that I ever knew it for 19, but she's plus 58. She's plus 53. I'll, we're we're going to give it another shot and see. And again, we need Royal Guard to crit, so this is probably going to take a few times. <clears throat> but I think, I think it's doable here. If we need to pump up crit damage a little bit on somebody, we will, but... Come on, Royal Guard. Defy the odds, baby. Decent crit. Decent. We got the reset. She's not fast enough still. I mean, she just needs a few more. Yeah, so close, man. 
So a little bit more speed on this cold heart. Where are we gonna get it from? Okay, I think for the sake of time, I'm just gonna look for the speed real quick, and then I'll cut back when I find it. Sometimes these videos get super long with me just looking through gear. <laughs> uh, so I'll be back when I, when, I, when I find her speed. All right, we found it in a crit rate weapon. We got a little bit more crit damage too. So speed's fine, crit damage is fine. Crit rate's still in that safe window. <clears throat> I would love it if we had another amulet for her, but it does not look like that's the case. His damage, uh, he's fine. He's, he's good to go as is. So now we just need him to crit. And then we need, you know, we need, we need to see where we're at. So let's, let's pop in, give it another go. Giant Slayer Proximite is in it. It looks like we need a little bit more damage out of somebody, though. Like, we're, we're on the brink. We need a little bit more damage, and then we can start troubleshooting the actual team. We could also be working on the main team right now, too, because if it works, um, you know, affinity aside, if it works on 20, it should, in theory, work on 19. But I kind of just want to cheese my way through it, so let's... Let's see if there's anywhere we can squeak out a little bit more damage. There's got to be somewhere. Like, uh, what kind of savage gear do we have here? There's a lot of gear in here. Let's see what kind of savage gear we have. Savage crit damage. Where All right, we have no savage gear. What kind of crit damage gear we got? We got some speed boots with crit damage on them. Okay. There's some nice... Yeah, there's some nice stuff in here. Speed and crit rate. Something, yeah, something can be done here. The question is on her. All right, so... She, now, one of them having accuracy was nice for the reset, but again, if we're just trying to kill, not important. So here, we get a little bit little bit of crit. No, I'm sorry, we lose crit rate backwards. But here, we've got speed and crit rate. There, we've got crit rate and crit damage, though. We don't want to lose damage, <clears throat> although we'll be gaining some damage by completing the set, but that would only end up being like a a four point profit unless we could pair up hmm kind of a tricky situation here but having extra crit damage is going to be really nice we just really can't afford to lose the crit rate and it looks like none of this stuff that would be fitting has the crit rate that, that's that's really good. We may have to... 16 crit damage is so much to lose, though. You know what I'm saying? And we can't lose that 12 crit rate. We need that. Unless this shield... Let's see what this shield does. Let me hit this shield to 12 and I'll be back. Alright, we, we worked it out. I think we've still got enough speed. We're, we're one point low on crit, dam uh, crit rate, but we've got a bit more crit damage here. She just really needs some work here. Unless we, again, unless we just kind of want to wing it. Let's wing it. Let's let's see how we do with, the, with that bonus and damage. A few moments later. What is happening? What is happening? That's the seventh time in a row he has not landed it. What is going on? He was literally perfect the first three or four times we did this. Now, that's literally the seventh time in a row he's not landed that. What is happening? Nothing has changed about Rosin. Why all of a sudden can't he land that? There. Now we need Royal Guard to crit, which the odds are not in our favor on that one. Yeah. 
Let's get an idea of at least what their damage looks like. So that's... She's not doing enough. She didn't crit. Boy. She's doing plenty. Okay. Man, dude, I don't... <clears throat> that's aggravating. All right, we got these boots to 12. Now, he is going to lose some speed, but he's still going to be plenty faster than everybody else on the team. So I'm not going to bother 16-ing them right now. I don't want to burn through all my silver on this. Uh, we did get 20 more accuracy on him. I'm hoping that's going to be enough, because holy cow, man. Like, he was so reliable at the beginning of this, and now he just cannot land. So let's see. We need him to... Because the real issue here should be Royal Guard critting. That should be the real challenge. Not not Rosin landing his debuffs. There we go. Now, now we need him to crit. Good decent. Mm. We just need more damage. Like she's doing really good damage. Oh, that's so close. That's so freaking close, man. Dead gummit. Proc a giant slayer or something. Help me out a little bit here. Please proc giant slayer. I think two. I think two procs would do it. Let's go, baby! Alright, we did it. We cheesed our way through 20. Uh, now we can start working on... I'm sorry, we cheesed our way through 19. Now we can start working on 20. Okay, so for 20... Uh, I think, I think, now we are going to go work on the Sandra, probably. Maybe with her speed lead and Apothecary in here, between the two of them, it will be okay. I am, I am thinking it will not be okay. But we'll, we'll see. And then who was the last one I was going to throw in here? Who did I say? Was it Gorg? It might have been Gorg. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. <clears throat> Pretty decent amount. Did he land no freezes? There we go. Let's see. We've got some decent here. We have no cleanse. We may need to rearrange this team a little bit to get a cleanse. Although between, okay, we need more turn meter. That's what we need. We need more turn meter. So in Gorg's space, we may have to build that elf guard. And we need we just need to make her super fast. And maybe she can keep the spider from getting a turn. Maybe that is what we're gonna end up having to do. Because I think this is this is eventually going to get lopsided out of our favor. However, Gallic needs the attack buff, if I'm not mistaken. She's about to get another turn. So we definitely got to have more turn meter manipulation. I, I was hoping Lysandra would be enough, but I don't think she's going to be. So we're going to work Lysandra out. Lysandra. Apothecary is good to have. I like the Tormund and Gallic combo. And I think that they are appropriately built for that. I guess what we're going to do is swap, is build Elf Guard and swap her out for Lysandra. So fast and accurate is really what we're looking for here. So let's take a look. And tanky if possible. Some speed potentially. And some accuracy there potentially. 
we do have some speed boots. We've got... Those are not bad. So what are we thinking? This helmet, that weapon maybe. Helmet and weapon, and then, and then two sets of speed. If we go boots, armor, gloves, and shield, do we have a good shield? 30 accuracy. 19, one with accuracy and speed, perhaps. The faster she is, the better. There's there's a good one. That's a good one. There's some speed. All right, let's let's do that. Let me throw this stuff on her. Speed. Speed. That. Or wait, did I say shield? No, I said helmet. We're really going to hope that rolls, rolls speed. Either way, is it, could there be a better? There's not a better option regardless, so that's going to be what we're going to put. So let me... For 19 accuracy. I'll roll that and see if we can get more accuracy on that as well. Uh, let me roll her stuff up, and I'll be back. All right, we got pretty fortunate on the rolls, I would say. We got decent enough speed, decent enough accuracy, and I think with Apothecary's speed lead, she's going to be fine. So uh, we're going to go back and try it again with her instead of Lissandra. So let's see how we, let's see how we look. What kinds of adjustments we're going to need to make. I'm not sure she has masteries, but we'll, we'll, we'll adjust as, as necessary. And we'll go with... I guess we'll go Torm and lead. Why not? Put you in and see what we're looking like now. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, it, it's it's imperative that she land that. That has to happen. I guess we need more accuracy. I guess that's not quite gonna cut it. I guess we're gonna have to bump up into that 250 range, uh, which means it's gonna be real nice for her to be six starred because a banner takes care of that for us. Having to find that through gear is certainly doable, but to maintain the speed, which is on, which is probably on the lower side of what we need, to maintain that and also keep the accuracy, it's going to be very difficult without a banner. All right, so I don't know exactly where I'll cut this in. I futzed around for a little while, ended up speaking with KD, and he wanted me to go ahead and six-star Elf Guard. Uh, do anything I needed to do with her to, to, to get her where I think she needs to be. So uh, here we are. She is upgraded. She's got more than enough accuracy at this point. A um, little bit more speed. So we're going to pop back in now and see how it looks. I'm, I'm really hoping that this goes well. We didn't level her up all the way, but I don't really think that that should be a factor. Um, so I'm hoping with the new with the accuracy, she's going she's gonna to do her job, not miss the, the turn meter knockbacks, and, and we'll see. We'll give it a couple of runs if it looks like it could be close, because again, this may not be a 100% team, but if it can do it, you know, even a even little over half the time, it'll be worth it to get Arbiter, and that's kind of the point of this, so let's, let's see how we're looking here. Now, he's going to take quite a few bumps on this one, I think. Oh, they're changing targets. That's, that's odd. Okay, let's see, let's see. We're landing good freezes. We've got a lot of HP burns up. Looks like the spider is going to get that turn. That's that's a problem, keeping that spider from getting a turn. Or maybe it won't be. We'll see. Now the HP, most of the HP burns are gone. So we're definitely making progress. I just don't know if we're quite there yet. Hmm. 
Close. We were, we were close. We were looking good there for a second. We had a little turn meter knocked back there. Could we come from behind here? If Gallic would put out some more HP burns, that gum it. Mmm, those hurt. Let's see what we look like here. No! We need her not dying. She's crucial. That turn meter knockback is crucial here. So those interruptions where she's dying are really, really putting a... really a problem. Gorg's trying. Gorg's trying to keep her in the fight, but... Come on, guys. You can do this. I believe. Poor elf guard. I don't know why in my head I feel like I've said Interceptor 20 times. Maybe I haven't said it once. Hard for me to remember, but in my head, that's, that's all I've been saying. We just got to get on the right cycle here. Here we go. This this could be a good this could be a good spot to be in right here. I need apothecary to steal the turn here. I need interceptor to uh, interceptor. I need elf guard there. Why is it not 50%? What is that? You notice sometimes it's a good knockback and other times it's not. What, what is happening there? Resisted, that's not good. Close, so close, so close. Come on guys. So close. Okay, that's a good start to this portion of the fight. We got provokes to... Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. Here we go. Could have could have stood a few more HP burns to go up there, but maybe it's okay. Somebody heal him. Somebody heal him. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're about to do it. I think we're about to do it. Apothecary with the clutch heal. HP burns are ticking. I think we're going to do it here. One more HP burn and we're Gucci, baby. That's it. Let's go. All right. Sweet. So... We have now autoed Spider-20. It is a success, exactly as I suspected. Now again, that is not going to be a 100% team, I'm sure. I'm sure something's going to go wrong occasionally. However, after watching that team and seeing they have really good sustain. They're really good at pushing through adversity. So as she gets leveled up, you, you 16 some of this gear, make her a little bit more capable of taking a shot, same with Gallic. If you wanted to six-star Gallic and 16 some more of this stuff, that would be great. I think I think as you do th those things, increase the tankiness of this team, if you can find more speed on them, once you do those things, I think it's going to be a very reliable Spider 20 team. So, uh, man, I'm glad we did that. I was really, really concerned I wasn't going to be able to knock that out in this video. I'm really glad we, we, set it, we uh, sorted that out. So, 
Uh, there you go. Congratulations on the Spider 20 team. I'm a little bit strapped for time at this point, so I'm going to take a quick peek at Clan Boss and see what I think we can do there. But honestly, before I spend a lot of resources reworking your entire Clan Boss team, what I think that you should do, and I know that you told me I could pull them in the video, but I would rather you wait. Since you've saved up so many, since you've got 12 sacreds, I think it's probably a good idea for you to wait on a double sacred event and see if you can pull something crazy like a bad L. I know that the odds of that are low, but I, I just feel like before I burn through the rest of your resources, and 5 million is not going to be enough anyway for me to rebuild a clan boss team, I think you should use those shards and see what you pull. Holler at me. After the, shards, after the next double sacred, after the shards are gone, you've got some more resources. We'll see what we're working with, and we'll revisit. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how your team looks after the nerf, what kind of damage you're doing, and, and we'll go from there. Like I said, I don't just want to blow through resources for the hell of it. So let's wait on the nerf. Let's see what your team looks like. Let's see what you pull from these sacreds when you decide to pull them, and we'll reevaluate. I will, I will come back and do another episode on this account for sure, though. So um, that is going... Actually, yeah, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up. I have no idea how long this video is going to be because I've split it up into two recording sessions and I don't remember how long the last one is so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here um thank you guys for watching uh, coming along for the ride I know this one what this one seemed like it had its ups and downs but uh, we did solve our problem that we, that we were here to solve and as you're able to improve the quality of the gear leveling it up finishing with elf guards leveling again I'm sure I've called her interceptor 50 times by now but I meant elf guard um I think that team's going to get pretty reliable for you, and you'll be on your way to Arbiter. So, again, holler at me when all those things that I talked about earlier happen. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, hop in the Discord, follow the routine if you want to get in the pull for an account rework. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys tomorrow.